This video shows how to create shards to display sensor readings on a web server using the ESP32 or ESP266 with Arduino IDE. First, you need to ensure that you have your Arduino IDE ready to program the ESP boards. This means that you have to complete three steps. First, install the ESP32 or ESP266 board add-on in Arduino IDE. Then, you need the ESP32 or ESP266 file system uploader plugin installed. Finally, you have to install all these libraries in your Arduino IDE. We have a complete guide to help you complete each step below this video. After installing everything, you'll be able to compile your code and make the project work. For this project, we'll be using the BME280 sensor module. It communicates via I2C, so you need to connect it to the ESP32 or ESP266 I2C pins. Follow this schematic diagram if you're using the ESP32, or this one if you're using the ESP266. To display charts in a web page, we'll use the iCharts.js library. We'll create three charts, one for temperature, another for humidity, and one for pressure. The charts display a maximum of 40 data points, and the new reading is added every 30 seconds, but you can change these values. To build a web server, you need two different files, the Arduino sketch and an HTML file. The HTML file should be saved inside a folder called data in your sketch folder. After preparing your Arduino IDE, copy the code provided. You can find the link below this video. Save the sketch and name it. Then go to Sketch, Show Sketch Folder, and create a folder called Data. Inside your Data folder, create an HTML file and copy this text. You can find the link to the HTML below this video. Save your file as index.html. Now, upload the file to the ESP32 or ESP266 file system. Having the right board and COM port selected, go to Tools and select ESP32 or ESP266 Sketch Data Upload and wait for the file to upload. If you are using an ESP266, you need to select the flash size with SPI FFS memory. Finally, upload the code to your board. Make sure you've inserted your network credentials in the code. When everything is successfully uploaded, Open the serial monitor at the baud rate of 115200. Press the onboard reset button and you should get your ESP IP address. Open a browser in your local network and type the ESP IP address. If you scroll down, you should see three shards. A new data point is added every 30 seconds to a total of 40 points. However, for demonstration purposes, I've modified the sketch to add a new reading to each shard every second. As you can see, new data points are added automatically to your charts as long as you have your browser tab open. It also runs asynchronously, so you don't have to refresh your web page. If you select any data point, you can see the exact timestamp. For a brief explanation on how the code works, make sure you read the project page. The link is in the video description. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to catch my next ESP projects.